What the? Franz! It's that red gear! It's coming this way! Damn! We're spotted! And out goes Ellie? Ellie! What are you doing? Satan, what now? What should we do? Huh? What? You're asking me what to do? Yes, Satan, you've had all the answers. Even when you were not fully on our side, you had the answers. There's someone on the deck. It's Ellie? What? Franz! How could you let this happen, Franz? No. Ellie! Return immediately! I'm going to do this, so please allow me to do it. It's too dangerous. I know. But it's just like when Faye put his life on the line to save me. It's my turn to save Faye. As long as it helps him, I don't care what happens to me. Ellie. And it's boss time? I don't want it to be boss time. Faye. <laughs> you. You've come to die, eh? Yes. If that is what will satisfy you, then kill me. Now. Good girl. Now, die! Huh? Let go! Uh, Faye! I, I won't ever let go! Faye! Please, return to the real Faye! This woman, I knew it. Ugh. Uh, uh, Damn, it is awakening. So no boss time? No! We're back in Shavat. I am sorry. Did not want to say anything until I was sure. I was on a secret mission by orders of Emperor Kane to monitor Fay. He ordered me to determine whether Fay would be a threat to the world or not. The contact. That is what the Emperor calls Fay. This is your conclusion? Yes, Your Majesty. This is the answer that I chose myself. And then Elby. You think you can do it? Yes. Humans have the potential. Managers are no longer needed. The contact is not our enemy? Yes, as you say, Your Majesty. If Faye is... Then I leave it up to you. I atone for my crime by doing so. What? Anna Nelby, the long-awaited man of God, who will take the people born in this world with him to a new horizon. Such is the destiny of the contact. That is what the Emperor called Fay. He did not tell me why he called Fay that, though. Who the heck is he, then? He is Fay, but he is also the one who destroyed Elru, caused Carr serious injury, sank the Yggdrasil, killed Rico's subordinates in Kislev. Need I continue further? He is Id. What did you say? Id? What do you mean? He, Fay, that is, 
has disassociative identity disorder, also known more commonly as multiple personalities. Dis d disas d disassociative identity disorder, or multiple personalities, is a mental disorder where one person has multiple personalities. That can't be real. Oh, but it is very real. Faye is living proof of it. I've been watching over Faye, who has a destroyer personality with him named Id. In the beginning, he was stable. His disassociation did not occur at all while, the, while he lived in Lay-can, Layhan for those three years. But then, after Layhan was attacked, things changed. Little by little, the number of incidences of his disassociation and their length began to increase. And then at Solaris, a complete manifestation of Id occurred. What brought it about? He was fine when he was le in Lehan, right? My guess is that the appearance of Groff affected Fay somehow. You probably know that Fay worked with Groff as the assassin Id before he was brought to live in Lehan. It was then that Aldru, the homeland of Dominia, was utterly obliterated. Groff was intentionally provoking the manifestation of id within, for want of a better word, Fay. For what purpose? To destroy God, that is what Groff was saying. That is all I know, although there might be more to it, but one thing is certain. Groff was encouraging the manifestation of id, but did not have adequate control over him. In other words, it was too much for him to handle? Yes. You said, that's all you know, although well, there might be more to it. What did you mean by that? I shall go on to explain that now. Actually, that is the most important point. There is nothing you can do. You understand well, just as I suspected, Satan. Or was it Doc? I've been wanting to meet you, Id. I wanted to talk to you. I guess it is all due to this machine which cuts the nerve connections. Anyway, what is Faye doing as of now? Faye? Which Faye do you mean? There's more than one? Id. The one you call Faye is asleep. Sleeping. When I am awake, he sleeps. That is why he has no memory of what I do. Why does he not know? It's obvious. He is my subordinate. He cannot peer into my memories. He should not, in actuality, even exist. That man forcibly created his personality. Faye is a tenant in the room of cowardice. That man? Our father, Khan. He sealed up my personality in the deepest recesses of my consciousness. Through some inexplicable reason, that is when the present Faye was born. When you said cowardice, what did you mean? I ask about him. You think you can do something? It is rare to be able to talk to a real, real schizophrenic. As a scholar, I am extremely intrigued with friends like you. Hey, doctor. I like you, Satan, but he is insignificant. After all, he is just a failure. A coward like him does not deserve to be Faye's existence. A pathetic one who has always fled from reality. He never did one thing against me when I control him. A coward who refused to live. He should have been erased. But he continues to exist. Why won't he disappear? Damn it. It makes my skin crawl just being in the same body as him. Let's change the subject. I would like to know how and why your personalities were split. Since you are the one in control, I would assume you would know the story. Normally, personalities do not split as they did with you unless there was some sort of past trauma. You want me to talk about my memories? Don't misunderstand. I haven't given you the right to question me. Just because I'm held down by this machine, don't push your luck. If I really wanted to, I could break the restraints and crush you. Don't you forget it. Then why not do it? Hmm. Shall I tell you why? You do not have complete control over Faye, do you? Your control of him is incomplete. To break those bonds would require a tremendous amount of mental energy. Having used up your energy, Faye would return again. Basically, you would have to leave the stage. 
Obviously, the day you would be able to return is indeterminate. Hence, you will not do it. Am I mistaken? So you know me too well. I don't have complete... What is wrong, Id? You forced me on stage. He's waking. Under normal circumstances, I would have been able to hold on. But I can't. This is all that woman's fault. Her existence makes Faye resistant. You mean Ellie? That woman. The same. Everyone. Must. Eliminate. I do not understand. I do not understand, Id. You don't need to understand. But when the time comes, just take it as it comes. Reality and death. I'll eventually get to you. Be seeing ya. Damn. The emotional portion of Faye's present personality was sealed up by his father through some method. And now, with the clear foundation, with the cleared foundation of Id's personality in computer terms, it is like constructing a mock personality on top of the compatible portion of the OS. That is the reason Faye has no memory of his past. Those ten or so years of memories are under supervision of Id. As long as Id does not willingly hand over the memories, there is no way for Faye to know since he did not even exist before the time Id was sealed up. The present Faye's personality is an underdeveloped one which was built upon within the three years of living in Lehan, studying and acquiring other people's reactions. Hence, he does not know how to fully cope with sudden or emotional situations. Ellie, you are the one who spent the most time with Faye, so I'd assume you would understand this. Were there not times when he would be psychologically unstable? For example, he would be manically depressive and then have sudden fits of rage. Yes. Then his present personality is but only a temporary one? That is not what I am saying. The present day is one single personality. It is just that structure-wise, his personality was constructed on top of Id's, hence placing Faye at a lower hierarchy. That is why when Id is active, Faye has no recollection of it. Then that means he might eventually be taken overtaken by Id? Yes, if it were only Id and Faye. But that does not seem to be the case. It only manifests when Faye's mental energy is in a weakened state. It is a mystery in itself that the lower level personality of Faye has any control over, over the upper level personality of Id. It is obvious that there exists a third personality. Id calls this existence the coward. In my observation, this coward may be the fundamental personality of Faye. In other words, Id's manifestation is not controlled by Faye, but is controlled by the personality known as the coward. Then that means what? At the same time Id resents this coward, he also obviously fears it. From a certain point of view, this coward is the one assisting in keeping the present Faye in control. I do not know the reason why this third personality, excuse me, Faye's fundamental personality, does not come out. If this one awakens, it will become one with Id. In other words, there is a possibility that the complete original personality may